Today's topic will be the first industries of Belize. To begin, we must talk about Belize's economic movers and shakers. The first were the, were the Maya, who had a population of about 800,000 people in Belize during their classic period. Then there were the British, who founded the nation state of Belize as we know today. From the archaeological records, we know that the Maya had many industries. They had industries in the food, clothing, shelter, transportation, and defense subsectors of their economy. More recently, the British were the first Europeans who settled Belize. It is believed that a certain Captain Peter Wallace, a Scottish sailor, was the first European to establish a permanent settlement in Belize. This theory, however, has been recently questioned by Barbara and Victor Bulmer Thomas in their book, The Economic History of Belize. There is another theory that Belize was founded by six shipwrecked sa sailors in 1638. Whatever theory is true, we might never know. However, recently, Nigel Encalada of the Institute of Social and Cultural Research of Belize on visiting the archives of Jamaica has shown that there were records of Belize from the early 1600s. But who were the British? The term British that we use here in Belize actually refers to British, Scottish and Welsh settlers who came to our land. They weren't the nobility or they weren't the scientific class of people. They were adventurers, debtors, and those seeking a better life than they could achieve in England. The first industry w industries which they set up were the logwood, turtle, and mahogany industries. Logwood. The scientific name for logwood is Hematoxylon campechanum. This species is found from southern Mexico to, the, to Nicaragua. Besides logwood, other types of dyewood were sought in Belize's forests. These included Brazileto, Dragon's Blood, and Fustic. These resources were very important and very valuable and prompted Sir Thomas Lynch, Governor um, of Jamaica, in a report to King Charles II in 1671 to note that Belize had increased His Majesty's customs and national commerce more than any of his other colonies. But what is Lagwood? Logwood is a leguminous tree which grew on lands near rivers, lagoons, and on the coast of Belize. It was used to dye woolen or cotton clothes and to use in the, in the wine industry as a colorant, and more recently it has been used in biological stains. How was logwood extracted from Belize? To extract logwood, a settler would locate a stand of logwood and cut it down using using axes. The fallen trees were then debarked. After debarking, the trees were cut into, into blocks like a foot and a half to two feet long. These, logs, these blocks were then loaded onto wooden pit pans. Here we see a, an example of a pit pan which was a large flat bottom ve vessel made from a single tree. The, the logwood was then taken to the settlement in Belize City, what we know as Belize City, and it was sold to merchants who came from Europe or from North America. Logwood was sold by the ton. Here we see, for example, a scale used to, to weigh the logwood. There were two cycles of boom and bust in the logwood industry in Belize. The first boom came from the early 1600s up until the 1750s when London merchants were able to bulk up reserves and drive down the price of logwood in Belize. This caused a bust in the, in the Belize industry. A second boom occurred, however, in the mid-1800s. This was a short-lasted short boom, however, because by 1856, W. H. Perkin had created aniline dye. Specifically, it was of a mauve color which 
was a synthetic replacement of logwood dyes. This spelled the beginning of the end for the logwood industry in Belize as we knew it. The second major industry that developed was turtles. However, turtles was a relatively small industry. It involved the smoking of turtle meat by the Belize buccaneers with who sold the meat to privateers in the Caribbean. For example, by 1764 it was known that five turtle corrals were on St. George's Key. These turtle corrals can be seen on the reverse side of a Belizean $5 bill. There were three main types of turtles that were extracted in Belize. There was the hawksbill turtle, the green sea turtle, and the loggerhead turtle. These turtles, as previously mentioned, were smoked and sold locally to privateers, or in the latter, in the latter part of the industry, they were sent live to Britain for sale in upscale establishments such as Pim's Restaurant in London. Turtle shells were also sold. Two qualities of turtle shell were known. There was the yellow belly turtle shell and the selected pale reddish selected pale and reddish turtle shell. The yellow belly shell was considered to be of a lower grade in Belize, but it was secretly sold in Britain for two times the price of the reddish turtle shell. The other major industry that developed in our country was mahogany. The scientific name for mahogany is Suetinia macrophylla. This species occurred all over the Caribbean. However, the Belize mahogany was said to be the best. Within Belize, it was known that the North produced the best quality of wood. This was because there was less rainfall in the North of Belize. The process of extraction of mahogany was, was an arduous process and it was actually very dangerous. Uh, it involved a number of different processes and a number of steps. These, in, these included locating the trees, felling the trees, removing the limbs and cutting the trees into manageable logs, moving the logs to the banks of the major rivers, slipping the logs into the rivers in the rainy season, storing the logs at the boom, sorting the logs per owners at the boom, floating the logs to the, to the river mouth, squaring the logs, and loading the squared logs or lumber onto ships bound for Europe. Let's take a look at some of these processes. One of the first processes that was done to, in mahogany extraction was the felling of the mahogany tree. This work was done by one or two men per tree working on contract work. The fellows would stand on a barbecue, as we can see in this photograph, which was built at the, at the base of the tree above the buttress roots. In other words, workers had to, to balance themselves to be able to cut into the mahogany trees. Um, one worker, one or two workers were said to be able to fall a mahogany tree per day. After the trees were fallen, the mahogany logs were, were, were skidded, that was a term, were skidded to the nearest river bank in Belize. This involved pulling the, the logs using ropes and using rollers on which to, to roll the logs. This, um, this, we know of this because of an account by Governor Swain who, who wrote on the extraction of mahogany, in, mahogany from Belize. Around 1805 the practice of human haulage of mahogany, of mahogany was stopped. The British then turned, turned this work to, over to oxen, which were brought to Belize from, near, from the nearby republics. And oxen or cattle was therefore then used to extract mahogany from Belize's forests. And the logs were, were then slipped into rivers and they were floated down these rivers to the nearest boom. Here we see the boom chain at the village of Barrel Boom in the Belize district. A boom was basically a chain such as this one which was stretched across a, a major river and used to hold back the mahogany logs. At these booms the, the logs were sorted and they were then rafted they were then rafted out again to the settlement to the settlement in Belize City. 
In belief city, the logs would be would be squared and and the bruises removed. And after processing, the logs would then be be, be sent out to harbor and loaded onto ships for exportation to Europe or to, or to North America. A conservative estimate of the amount of mahogany that left Belize since the 1850s was that over 1.5 billion board feet of mahogany was, ex was exported. This was from a study done by Weaver and Sabido in 1997. This 1.5 billion board feet uh, would be worth in today's economy about fifteen billion dollars that is a b with a b billion with a b in summary we see that the first industries of Belize were extractive everything was taken out and nothing was put back billions of dollars were made off Belize's forests um, we thank you for watching this video please share it with your friends with your friends for more information on, on this topic, you can read the book, A History of Enterprise in Belize, that will be released in July of 2013. You can stay tuned to BelizeInfoCenter.org for further updates on the progress of the book. And this video has been a, a courtesy of Interlogic Publishers. We can be reached at 14 Tucan Avenue in Belmopan. Uh, I can be emailed at friends at BelizeInfoCenter.org or you can contact us on our telephone number at 601-6055 in Belize. Thank you for watching this video.